For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the x and y intercepts of exponential functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say intercepts, it is the point of intersection of the graph to the axis. X-intercept, it is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. To find the x-intercept, simply set y equal to 0. And y-intercept, it is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. To find y-intercept, simply set x equal to 0. And these are the basic concepts that we need to remember in order for us to find the x and y intercepts of exponential functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, f of x equals 5 raised to x minus 125. So the first step that we are going to do is to change f of x into y. So let us have y equals 5 raised to x minus 125. First, let us find the x-intercept. To find x-intercept, let us set y equal to 0. So this will be 0 equals 5 raised to x minus 125. And to solve for x, let us move negative 125 on the side of 0. It will give us 125 equals 5 raised to x. To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 125 as 5 raised to 3. Because 5 multiplied 3 times to itself, it will give us 125. So let us have 125, that is 5 raised to 3 equals 5 raised to x. Since we have the same base, let us cancel the base and let us have x equals 3. Since the value of x is equal to 3, and y is equal to 0, our x-intercept is 3 and 0. And to solve for y-intercept, let us set x equal to 0. Let us have y equals 5 raised to x minus 125. So y equals 5 raised to 0 minus 125. Let us simplify this one. 5 raised to 0 is 1 minus 125. 1 minus 125, that is negative 124. So this will be the value of y. And to find the y-intercept, since x is 0 and y is negative 124, our y-intercept is 0 and negative 124. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, f of x equals 3 raised to x plus 3 minus 9. The first step that we are going to do to find the x and y intercept is to change f of x into y. So let us have y equals 3 raised to x plus 3 minus 9. So let us find first the x-intercept. Let us set y equal to 0. Let us have 0 equals 3 raised to x plus 3 minus 9. And to solve for x, let us move negative 9 on the side of 0. It will give us 9 equals 3 raised to x plus 3. To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 9 as 3 square because 3 multiplied by itself is 9. So let us have 9 that is 3 square equals 3 raised to x plus 3. Since we have the same base, let us cancel the base and let us have x plus 3 equals 2. Let us move 3 on the side of 2. It will give us x equals 2 minus 3 and x is equal to 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Since the value of x is negative 1 and y is equal to 0, our x-intercept is negative 1 and 0. And to find the value of y-intercept, let us set x equal to 0. Let us have y equals 3 raised to x plus 3 minus 9. Let us have 3 raised to 0 plus 3 minus 9. It will give us 3 raised to 0 plus 3, that is 3 minus 9. 3 raised to 3, that is 27. That means you are going to multiply 3 3 times to itself, it will give us 27. 
minus 9, and that is 18. So to find the y-intercept, since x is 0 and y is 18, let us have 0 and 18, and this will be our answer. On example number 3, f of x equals 16 times 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2. To find the x and y intercept, let us change first f of x into y. So let us have y equals 16 times 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2. To find the x intercept, let us set y equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals 16 times 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2. To find the x-intercept, let me give you two different solutions. First, let us move negative 2 on the side of 0. It will give us 2 equals 16 times 2 raised to x plus 3. Then, let us divide both sides by 16. Let us cancel this one. Since 2 and 16 are divisible by 2, 2 becomes 1 and 16 becomes 8. So we are going to have 1 over 8 equals 2 raised to x plus 3. To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 8 as 2 raised to 3. Because 2 multiplied 3 times to itself is 8. And since 8 is written in the denominator, we are going to have 1 over 2 raised to 3. So let us write this one in the numerator. It will give us 2 raised to negative 3. So let us have 1 over 8, that is 2 raised to negative 3 equals 2 raised to x plus 3. Since we have the same base, let us cancel the base and let us have x plus 3 equals negative 3. And let us move 3 on the side of negative 3. It will give us x equals negative 3 minus 3. So x is equal to negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. Since the value of x is negative 6 and y is 0, therefore our x-intercept is negative 6 and 0. Another solution on how we can find x-intercept, let us have 0 equals 16 times 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2. So let us change 16 as 2 raised to 4 because 2 multiplied 4 times to itself is 16. So let us have 16 that is 2 raised to 4 times 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2. So let us move negative 2 on the other side of equation. It will give us 2 equals since we have the same base, let us copy the base and let us add the exponent that is x plus 3 plus 4 is 7. So 2, that is 2 raised to 1, equals 2 raised to x plus 7. Let us cancel the base and let us have x plus 7 equals 1. Let us move 7 on the side of 1. It will give us x equals 1 minus 7. And to simplify x equals 1 minus 7, that is negative 6. So we come up with the same answer. So our x-intercept is negative 6 and 0. To find y-intercept, let us set x equal to 0. Let us have y equal 16 times 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2. So let us have y equal 16 times 2 raised to 0 plus 3 minus 2. So let us simplify. Let us have 16 times 2, 0 plus 3, that is 3, minus 2. So let us write 16 times 2 raised to 3, that is 8 minus 2. 16 multiplied by 8, that is 128 minus 2. And to simplify, y equals 128 minus 2, and that is 126. Since the value of x is 0 and y is 126, our y-intercept is 0 and 126. 
On example number 4, f of x equals 1 half times 3 over 2 raised to x plus 2 minus 3 over 4. To find the x and y intercept, let us change first f of x into y. So let us have y equals 1 half times 3 over 2 raised to x plus 2 minus 3 over 4. To find the x-intercept, let us set y equal to 0. Let us have 0 equals 1 half times 3 over 2 raised to x plus 2 minus 3 over 4. And to find the value of x, let us move negative 3 over 4 on the side of 0. It will give us 3 over 4 equals 1 half multiplied by 3 over 2 raised to x plus 2. Then, let us divide both sides by 1 half. 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6, and 4 times 1, that is 4, equals, let us cancel this one, 3 over 2 raised to x plus 2. Since 6 and 4 are divisible by 2, we can write this one as 3 over 2 equals 3 over 2 raised to x plus 2. Since the exponent of 3 over 2 is 1, we can cancel the base and we are going to have x plus 2 equals 1. So let us move 2 on the side of 1. It will give us x equals 1 minus 2 and that is negative 1. Since the value of x is negative 1 and y is 0, our x-intercept is negative 1 and 0. And to find the y-intercept, let us set x equal to 0. So let us have y equals 1 half times 3 over 2 raised to x plus 2 minus 3 over 4. So let us have 1 half times 3 over 2 raised to 0 plus 2 minus 3 fourth. And then let us write 1 half times 3 over 2, 0 plus 2, that is 2, minus 3 over 4. Let us simplify. Let us have 1 half 3 over 2 raised to 2, that is 9 over 4 minus 3 over 4. And then, let us multiply this one. 1 multiplied by 9, that is 9. And 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 over 4. Since we are subtracting different denominator, let us have the LCM of 8 and 4. And that is 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 9, and then 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 3. So let us have 1 times 9 is 9, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 over 8. 9 minus 6 is 3 over 8. So this will be the value of y. Since x is 0 and y is 3 over 8, our y-intercept is 0 and 3 over 8. And this will be our answer. On our last example, f of x equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 25 raised to x plus 2. To find the x and y intercept, the first thing that we are going to do is to change f of x into y. So let us have y equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 25 raised to x plus 2. To find the x-intercept, let us set y equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 25 raised to x plus 2. And to solve for x, let us move this one on the side of 0. It will give us 1 over 25 raised to x plus 2 equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3. 
To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 25 as 5 square because 5 multiplied by itself is 25. Since 25 is written in the denominator, we are going to have 1 over 5 raised to 2. And to write this one in the numerator, we are going to have 5 raised to negative 2. So let us have 1 over 25, that is 5 raised to negative 2 raised to x plus 2 equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3. And then let us have 5. Let us multiply the exponent. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 multiplied by 2 is negative 4 equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3. Since we have the same base, let us cancel the base and let us have 2x minus 3 equals negative 2x minus 4. And to find the value of x, let us move negative 2x on the other side of equation and negative 3 on the side of negative 2x minus 4. So let us have 2x plus 2x equals negative 4 plus 3. And to simplify, let us have 4, 2x plus 2x is 4x equals negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Let us divide both sides by 4. Let us cancel this one. So x is negative 1 over 4. Since the value of x is negative 1 fourth and y is 0, our x-intercept is negative 1 fourth and 0. And to find the y-intercept, let us set x equal to 0. So let us have y equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 25 raised to x plus 2. So let us have 5 raised to 2 times 0 minus 3 minus 1 over 25 raised to 0 plus 2. So let us write 5. 2 multiplied by 0 is 0 minus 3 that is negative 3 minus 1 over 25 raised to 0 plus 2 that is 2. 5 raised to negative 3 that is 1 over 125 and 1 over 25 raised to 2 that is 1 over 625. Let us simplify. The LCM of 125 and 625 is 625. 625 divided by 125, that is 5. So we are going to have 5 minus 625 divided to itself, that is 1 times 1 is 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4 over 625. So this will be the value of y. Since the value of x is 0 and y is 4 over 625, our y-intercept is 0 and 4 over 625. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.